What's going on guys? It's Colin here for Next Gen Tactics and you want Rush? So I'll bring you some more Rush. And unlike the previous video I posted where I was actually playing with an all NGT squad, this is on the PC and I'm all by myself. So you're not going to see the same level of communication, although I didn't have the game chat in that, but you won't see a well organized squad. What this is, is me running my, uh, my assault kit that I will run when I'm trying to solo things. I've got the grenade upgrade on the XM8 prototype with four smoke grenades and two regular grenades and Magnum Ammo. So I'm going to try and do my best to get in and arm some objectives by myself without necessarily having the support of a communicating squad. And I'm just going to pop smoke here on the on the A crate and see if I can't take this thing down. So <laughs> I see an enemy coming and uh, I'm actually able to, to pick him off. And I am spraying and praying a lot in this game as you will notice. And that's for a couple of reasons. First, it was like a really weird, laggy, choppy game at times. And also, this was like my first game on PC in a couple of days, so my shooting technique just was not honed and not up to par. <laughs> but I'm doing the best I can to try and get through this game, and it's not going to be pretty. I, at times, it's downright ugly, especially because I had a random Rambo medic who was running with me the whole time. And he's going to pick me up in some extremely precarious <laughs> situations. And it was kind of funny. Like, by the time you figure out what he's up to, you know if you die, he's going to revive you. So you might as well get ready to get up and start shooting because <laughs> he is not going to take the time to clear the area. And it works out for me a couple of times. A few times it's going to add to my death tally at the end of this game, which uh, otherwise didn't need to happen. But that's all right. Right here, I'm out of ammo on my primary. I'm out of ammo on my secondary. I figure I'm going to try and pull out a smoke grenade and blast this guy with it it doesn't work out I die <laughs> and uh, fortunately at the same time uh, the rest of my squad is actually pushed up in front of B so rather than getting cute with any flanking routes I'm just gonna try and help them defend it I uh, have the grenade upgrade I'm gonna throw them at the armed MCOM I'm gonna throw them up towards the defender spawn and just try and uh, and hold it down and we get this base so uh, when we defended this I, I, sh I lied to you I oh my guys I lied <laughs> I said this was my first round. This is my second round because I actually played the defense on this first. So I do apologize for uh, for misleading you. <laughs> and anyway, we defended them on the first base. And when we typed in, you know, good game in the chat, they basically typed back STFU. Shut the fuck up. And so I figured, well, you know what? I'm going to take it to these guys because usually 32-man rush, it, it can get pretty ugly. I'm not going to lie. So I, I was making it my mission to just do what I could to, to run at these objectives and see if we couldn't win the game. So me and Rambo, random Rambo, we are, we're, we're busting out the PTFO philosophy. We're playing the fucking objective. So we take the first base. I'm going to try and make a swim for it. And I'm going to get uh, picked off here by a guy who's kind of hiding down at the base of that cliff, shooting us as we kind of come out of our spawn. I get revived, so I'm going to snap right around and try and pick this guy up. And uh, I do. Unfortunately, my spot button doesn't work, but I'm able to get the kill here by myself. So he's cleaned up. And, and with, uh, you know, 16 v 16, it's even harder and more important that you clear out the base after you capture it. Because there's going to be a few of them lingering waiting to get those easy kills and, and take your tickets down when you're not expecting it. So I'm going to spam the sight lines with smoke grenades and try and, and rendezvous with my recon up here and <laughs> basically take a breather from the action and then and get back into it. Yes, I know it's a video game. I'm not actually uh, out of breath but you know just it's best to regroup sometimes I find especially you know when you're facing a lot of defenders and on PC you know full server uh, 16 defenders these maps were really designed for the console for 12v12 so it can get pretty crowded and and it's tough to punch through sometimes so anyway I think at the end of this game like my key KD is maybe a one and a half something like that uh, but uh, in a tough game like this I'm, I'm very pleased with that I'll take anything, and, and obviously, as you'll see, <laughs> I'm down. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. I'm back up. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, man, this guy's just racking up a ton of points on me, picking me up off the ground, and uh, yeah, good on him, you know? So sometimes, at this point, it's a little bit overkill to be picking me up every time I drop. Uh, it would be good if he was careful and cleared the area, but a few times, you know, when we get in tight uh, to the objectives and there's a lot of fighting going on, um, if you want to Rambo revive me, that's okay. Although, if you have the ability to at least use your trigger and, and kill an enemy or two first, that would be greatly <laughs> appreciated. So, uh, now I'm going to try and push the right-hand side. I'm still just spamming my smoke like crazy. And you'll see, like, uh, it's it's effective. If, uh, if not for the smoke grenades, there's no way you are running these routes without getting shot. And I'm hoping that what I can do here is go in and arm the A crate and distract them, jump out the front of the building, smoke up B, and then go arm that. But unfortunately, I'm going to get shot in the side of the head. So... No go. 
Uh, I'm going to have to... Uh, actually, what happened was the rest of my squad picked up a chopper, and one guy parachuted in behind their spawn, which is a great spot to be, except that there's four of them looking at us. So I get one kill, I get taken down, and I think at this point... I'm going to get pushed clear back to the deployment, and I'm going to come in on a jet ski. And the right-hand side probably shouldn't have pushed left, but uh, I was seeing that the squad was here, so I just wanted to, to support them, get a little jump hip-fire kill, and I'm going to drop some ammo and just start smoking up the area. So that if we're spotted, uh, the enemies, uh, that'll remove the spot. They're not going to have the sight lines on us, and, and hopefully we can kind of make a push. But this base, it gets ugly. And as you can see, we only have the B objective left. So as I've said in, in a number of different videos, videos leaving the destructible destructible mcom intact until you take the other one is always a good idea team doesn't do that here we are now stuck trying to t attack uh, the b crate which is out in the open it can't be destroyed so um unlike some of my other videos you know this is not going to be just a run 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 and everything goes my way i'm going to have to take a few different approaches at this and i'm just trying to smoke it up like crazy and push to this wall now this is a good place if uh, if you keep smoke so that they can't see you standing over here see there's a defender right there he doesn't even see us because of all the smoke and if you can keep a presence right here you know you can kind of sneak up the stairs and, and arm the objective i'm going to stick my head up to try and kill this engineer and uh, get blown away again but my buddy rambo medic he's right there for me <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, there was a defender behind us who's going to get a nice double spray. Now, my squad's still sitting down here at the beach. We do have a recon who's sitting back. So, uh, I don't know how much he's helping us push, but he's giving us a good spawn point. So, it would be really great if we were able to actually move up and around the right-hand side, but that's just not the way the team's going. So, I kind of have to go with the flow. They know we're here now, and they're going to start nailing us with explosives, and it's going to be really tough to make this push. As you can see, there's enemies spotted up there in the distance. I'm trying to fire smoke grenades in their general direction so that uh, their vision's obscured, but now I'm just getting damaged too much, and I have to try and retreat. So... Man, this is uh, this is a tough push, and there, more explosive damage. My med kit gets blown out in front of me, so I'm probably at a range to get healed. I see this guy in the shadows. I'm going to get one more kill and then take an AT4 in the face. <laughs> Pretty? You enjoying this one yet, guys? <laughs> So I, I see that, uh, you know, that path up through the left is, is kind of choked off. So it's, uh, we're just going to keep bleeding tickets if we don't change it up. So I'm going to pop the smoke. I'm going to try and loop around here to the right and make it just to the bottom of the staircase. And as long as the defenders are pushed back, this is a pretty good spot to sit. And I have the grenade upgrade. I'm spamming grenades like a boss trying to clean some of these guys up and just laying down fire into the smoke. And I'm hoping, you know, even with a couple of hit markers, trying to lay down some suppressive fire so that they that at least duck their heads and going to get a grenade kill, pick this guy off through the smoke. And, and the good thing about your smoke grenades is that you, you can still see enemy spots through it. They can't see you. So that's... Uh, I don't know if some people have asked some questions about the effectiveness of smoke grenades, but that's kind of how they work. So you can still see spotted enemies through your smoke cover, but they can't see you spotted through the smoke cover. And all right, lay down some more suppressive fire. Don't get the kill. Grenade almost takes me out. Luckily, there's a med kit right beside me. Lay down some more fire, get some more hit markers, no kills, and then I'm going to get wiped out. Luckily... Rambo! And I managed to hip fire this guy down with my last eight bullets, I think it was, in my magazine. So, you know what? We're losing. This thing's almost over. Somebody's got this, get, 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 uh, gotta, gotta, gotta get the crate arm. So, I'm gonna push up, lay a bit more smoke, and finally I get it planted. And, you know, with that many teammates lingering, it just it gets frustrating when nobody makes that push. You know, you have a spawn point where we're staying strong behind the objective. Somebody's gotta go arm the damn thing, and, and they don't move up until I arm it. So, you know, dirty job, somebody's got to do it, and uh, I actually managed to get that plant off without getting uh, mowed down, which is cool. So uh, we're just uh, hanging out, spamming, spamming, and defending, and I'm going to get uh, hit with a 40 mil grenade. So they did eventually flank around behind us, but uh, it's too late for them. So we managed to, to stay strong, and now it's time to just clear any lingers out of the base and push up. So I see a couple of spots. I'm going to clear one guy up here through the flames and actually did a bit of burst fire and come up around the corner. And I think there's maybe one more defender here on our base that we have to clear up. But, you know, in reality, getting through that second base, that's a huge moral victory, especially when you've left nothing but the B crate standing. So, you know, I'm going to drop some ammo and just uh, replenish and get ready for this final push and, and see if we can't uh, take it down. So... 
you know, I'm kind of hoping that the team's pumped up because we, we took that with under 20 tickets to go. So, I mean, that's always, uh, always a good morale boost. And what I found is sometimes if you manage to do that, then the, the defensive team just kind of crumples and you're able to take down the final base easily. Uh, spoiler alert, it's not going to be easy. <laughs> Oh, I know, I'm laughing, I'm, I'm talking, I'm mumbling, and uh, maybe repeating myself, but uh, again, doing the play-by-play, -play, sometimes I screw these things up, and I see that guy too late. I do spot him in the hopes that somebody will take him down, but uh, yeah, I'm going to get Rambo revived again, but it's all good because uh, I don't get killed right off the bat, so I'm going to smoke it up once more, and uh, again, I think somebody else also commented on a recent video, Colin, you don't use smoke enough, and I used, used to use smoke all the time. I'm going to come around the corner with my pants down, smoke grenade out, and get taken down on the heavy MG. And as I'm trying to type to the team that they're on the heavy MG to the right, guess what's going to happen? Yes, sir! <laughs> get picked up by another medic. So I'm just going to quickly tar you know, try and start shooting. I managed to take the gunner out uh, just uh, as a rocket hits the tower. And uh, yeah, so luckily we got a recon laying back just slightly. It's not often you hear me say that, but uh, you know, he's, he's given us a good spawn point. He's not back at the base. So uh, I'll give him props. I'll give him credit. Good spawn point. And uh, this, uh, they are shooting off this uh, stationary 50 cal so I'm gonna lay a smoke grenade right in front of that so he can't uh, just mow the team down as we try and cross the hill uh, sometimes you know uh, you want to lay down the smoke where you are sometimes it's best to figure out where the enemies are and put the smoke right in their face and uh, I think I'm mixing it up pretty well in this case you know putting putting my uh, good placement of smoke grenades so that we have good visual cover and we can move up so the team's actually gonna get this ob uh, objective armed and now I'm going to try and take a flank route and push all the way around the back of the base. I'm going to cut this out for the brevity of the video, as I don't encounter any enemies on my flank route. Although I do want to highlight one thing for you here coming up in a second. I spot this enemy, but I'm not going to shoot him. I'm going to run away because I don't want to alert them to my presence here in the back. I want to try and kind of get a sneak attack off from the back of the base. So I'm looped all the way around here. I'm going to cut through the fence, see what's going on. And to spot a couple enemies, they, they're going to get taken down, I get an assist, and not the kill. I'm going to loop the rest of the way around and try and get eyes on the objective, and uh, lay some smoke cover, and a teammate's actually going to go in and get the plant. So, job well done by the team here. I'm going to pop up, I see a couple enemies coming from the back, I don't know if they were actually looking for me, um, or just out of their spawn. I get killed, but that's game over, we take the objective, so I was really happy with that one, and you know, when, it, when it's a good intense game of rush and you come out victorious, always a good feeling, especially when you're not running with a squad, so managed to get a couple of MCOMs, I felt that, uh, you know, taking the B MCOM myself there, you know, I had team support with me, obviously, but getting that armed, that was pretty clutch, so pleased with my performance, 24 and 16-ish, I think, yeah, hope you enjoyed the game, guys, cheers, we'll talk soon. Hey guys, we now have our own website. Actually, we've always had our own website, but why not follow us on there? There you'll find all our videos conveniently sorted into playlists by game, as well as videos from many other directors that are part of our NGT network.